Hello everyone and good morning! Welcome to Let's Do Research with Dr. S. This is Dr. Sara Namoko and I am your partner in your research journey. In this video, we shall be discussing about the characteristics, the strengths, and the weaknesses of a survey research design. To recap, we have learned in our previous video that doing survey research is basically asking people about their knowledge, behavior, opinions, attitudes, perceptions, and beliefs, and even discovering facts. Because the primary purpose of a survey research is to describe in quantitative descriptions the characteristics, behaviors, and attitudes of a population. We have also learned in the previous video that uh, survey research is the best method available to the social researcher who is interested in collecting original data for describing a population that is too large to observe directly. Another thing that we learned in our previous video is that a survey research is composed of different types and these are the descriptive research, exploratory research, correlational research, and causal research. One of the characteristics of a survey research is that information is collected from a group of people in order to describe some aspects of characteristics of the population of which that group is part. The next characteristic is that the main way in which the information is collected is by asking questions. The answer to these questions from the sample of the study constitute the data of the survey. Another characteristic is that the information is collected from a sample rather than from every member of the population, meaning that from our target population, we choose randomly a sample and we collect the data from this sample that we have identified. Another characteristic of a survey research is that it can generate numerical data which can later be analyzed statistically. And then after you have analyzed the data, it will enable you to provide a descriptive, inferential, or explanatory information based on the data that you have analyzed. Another characteristic of a survey research is that enables the researcher to make generalizations and observe patterns based on the data and infer these findings to the target population. Now, a survey research has uh, its strength that will enable the researcher to enjoy its benefits. One of the strengths of a survey research is that it is capable of obtaining information from a large sample of the population. And they are well suited to gather demographic data that describes the composition of a sample. And another thing is that it requires lesser time and lesser expenses. It also requires minimal investment in terms of time, money, and energy to develop and administer. It is relatively easy for making generalizations. And survey can also elicit information about attitudes that are otherwise difficult to measure using observational techniques. Alternatively, a survey research cannot be used if you want to understand the historical context of the problem that you want to investigate. Some more, the respondents cannot share their opinion, and they may not be actively engaged in the research endeavor that you are undertaking. And worse, they may not tell you honestly. They may not answer your question honestly. Furthermore, a survey research can also be a source of error when you as a researcher later on when you analyze the results you may have an intention to misreport the behaviors of the respondents because you want to confound the survey results or you want to hide inappropriate behavior of your respondents in addition respondents may also have difficulty assessing their own behavior or they may have poor recall of the circumstances surrounding that behavior 
As I close this video, let me bring you to the references which have been used in this lesson. Once again, this is Dr. Sarah Namoko and thank you very much. Bye-bye.